A shot there. And the next thing you know, Miss Torres is on with a base hit. So Abby Torres laces a single. And that'll bring up the left fielder, Emma Cerna. Emma Cerna batting in from the right side. So the lefty Torres gets on board with a single. Two outs here in the bottom of the second. Cerna, swing and a miss, and they think they may have got her, and no, she's back. Play there by the catcher, tried to get the runner, but Torres gets back in time. 0-1 oh, the count to Cerna. Cat Lauder, the pitch, tries to bunt, and not caught, but falls behind the catcher. But it does make the count 0-2. Oh, so Emma Cerna trying to find her way on board here. With two outs. 0-2 oh, to Cerna, the pitch from Lauder. Tries to lay the bunt down, and not gonna be in time. And Cerna is thrown out. So at the end of two, it's the Lady Bobcats two. And the Lady Bulldogs coming to bat in the third. Nothing. Back with more on Real Sports Live. TVNS specializes in provider services, respite care, and emergency response services. TVNS are pioneers in the home care industry, in service for over 37 years. 11 locations from Brownsville to Corpus Christi, from Harlingen to Laredo. Today's game is sponsored by TVNS, the pioneers in serving our community with the highest quality in provider services. Our professional advisors at Employee Retirement Service have been providing financial and retirement planning for many years for employees of different employment. If you've spent your career in education and are ready for the next chapter, let the professionals at Employment Retirement Services help. You've worked hard, and now it's time to relax and enjoy with peace of mind and security. Help fulfill your retirement needs. Come experience the difference with us. And let's plan your retirement together. Call us at 956-440-8774 to schedule your appointment today. Back here live on Real Sports Live, your home for all of the Valley sports coverage of just about every sport in high school here in the Rio Grande Valley. We are softball playoff action tonight in Rio Hondo as the Lady Bobcats are hosting the Orange Grove Lady Bulldogs. We're moving into the top of the third inning. And the pitcher, Cat Lotta, is going to lead off for the Lady Bulldogs as they try to get something going here, as they trail this one two to nothing as we hit the top of the third. Cortez seems to be grooving tonight, as I said earlier. She was making that glove pop during her warm-ups earlier. She's still on the mound as we tope to the top of the third. And foul goes out of play, and the count goes 0-1. 0-1 to Lotta. Lady and then that'll take us back to the top of the order with Becca Mims on deck. Lada with the count 0-1. The pitch from Cortez. Are you in control, okay? Here we go. Cortez looks for her signals. Now with the delivery. And foul ball, and the count goes quickly 0-2. You'll notice that in softball, 
that the first baseman, especially the third baseman, will cheat in. And I mean, they will really cheat in, sometimes 15 feet off the bag towards the plate. All together right here, let's go. Pitch from Cortez. Talata, and a swing and a miss. And Lotta goes down on strike. So quickly, there's one out for the Lady Bulldogs. And that'll bring up Becca Mims. Brings up the leadoff batter, number 12, Becca Mims. Where's the number 12 for the Lady Bulldogs? Mims playing third base tonight for the Lady Bulldogs. Cortez with the delivery and the pitch. A little change over to the shortstop. Easy for the 6-3. So the 6-3. Quickly, there are two outs for the Lady Bulldogs in the top of the third. And that's going to bring up Raquel Strahan. Raquel Strahan. Strahan playing left field tonight for the Lady Bulldogs. Where's the number 10? Cortez. One and a two. Strahan. Cortez with the pitch. Low. It's going to go two and out. Strahan managing to work in the count at two and oh, and the catcher wants to have a little chat with her pitcher. So Abigail Torres runs out to see Miss Cortez. Have a little chat. Say, hey, we got this under control. Let's see what happens now. 2-0 and on the count to Raquel Strahan. We are in the top of the third. Two outs. Lady Bobcats lead this one two to nothing. Cortez with the pitch. Fouled off, and the count goes two balls and one strike. finish it. Two balls, one strike to Raquel Strahan. Strahan bats from the right side. Gets deep in the box. Cortez with the pitch. He's in for a strike and is going to get a quick freeze on that one. And the count goes two and two. So two balls, two strikes. He got excited. He got excited. That's what happened. Some of those thought it was a little outside, but the blue says no, so we got to count it 2-2. Two, two. two balls, two strikes, two outs, and the pitch to Strahan. Fouls it again, and it's right up by the press box. So the count remains at 2-2 two and two to Strahan. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Top of the third. Lady Bulldogs. Trying to get something to happen. And the pitch is going to be up and high, and the count's going to go full. So a little inside and tight for the blue, so we move the count to three and two. Full count to Strahan. Cortez with the delivery, the pitch, and a shot to the short. He picks it clean and throws it out. So a 6-3. So at the end of two and a half, the Lady Bobcats on top, two to nothing. We'll be back with more Unreal Sports Live. Start the new year off right. Alpha Men's Primary Care wants to remind all men it's time for your annual physical. Call to schedule an appointment. It's about the body, mind, and emotion. Stop feeling sluggish, having no energy, or being stressed. Alpha Men's Healthcare believes in a holistic approach to your overall health. Even if you have low testosterone, diabetes, high blood pressure, or gained weight, let Alpha Men's Primary Care help you increase your energy, stamina, endurance, and quality of life. Start feeling young again. Alpha Men's Primary Care is changing the way men's health care is done. 
Fans, if you want to look your best at the next game, then let Chewy's Custom Sports go to work for you. From custom designs and graphics to mass production in-house. If it's hats, shirts, buttons, mugs, cups, banners, and more, then Chewy's is there for every team and every sport. A veteran-owned company in touch with the community. It's Chewy's Custom Sports in San Benito. Fans mark the calendar for May the 5th for exciting football action from Mercedes as Real Sports Live presents NFL flag football action in Turf Wars 2019. See the future stars from the area in tournament competition live on Real Sports Live from the Mercedes Tiger Football Stadium. Back here live action as we start the bottom of the third. Top of the order for the Lady Cats, Nayeli Garcia. Playing second base tonight for the Lady Cats. And a count goes one and one. One ball, one strike to Nayeli Garcia. Cat Lotta still on the mound for the Lady Bulldogs. And Nayeli Garcia fouls it off to the right, out of play. So the count goes one, two. On Nayeli Garcia, one ball, two strikes. A little low. And the count goes even at two. Two balls, two strikes to Nayeli Garcia. She wears a number 16. Little squibber down the third base and is in time. And the Bulldogs are able to make that play. So on the 5-3, Garcia grounds out. And that'll bring up Savannah Gonzalez, listed as the designated player tonight. Also playing right field defensively. Brings up number five, Savannah Gonzalez. Gonzalez wears the number five for the Lady Cats. And the first pitch is up and a little high. Cat Lotta's pitch got a little away from her right there. Count goes one and oh. We have timeout on the, got an issue on the field. So we've got timeout. And I think they've got it straightened out. Unauthorized person on the field, I think is what it was. So they rule it as a no pitch. Umpires will get it straightened out here. One out here in the bottom of the third. First pitch is ball one to Savannah Gonzalez. Cat Lotta in her third inning work gets the easy throwback. And on the one three are two quick outs for the Lady Bobcats. So Erica Cortez will step up to the plate. She bats from the right side. The pitcher for the Lady Bobcats, who's pitched a masterful game thus far. As the Lady Cats lead this one two to nothing and a shot right there to the third baseman, but makes the play in time. So. Becca Mims makes it over to Mallory Salinas. And just like that, the end of the inning. And we are finished with three. After three, the Lady Bobcats lead this one 2-0. to zero. We'll be back with more in just a moment. Coaches, sign your team up today and be a part of the show for just $75 a team. Sponsored in part by Chewy's Custom Sports in San Benito. Register your team today or call 956 956- 536-7185. Turf Wars NFL Flag Football from Mercedes. Everyone's a winner at Kano Auto Sales 2 in Harlingen. Choose from a wide selection and score big today on West Expressway 83. Right now, check out this 2014 Hyundai Elantra GT. This car is loaded with a leather interior, satellite radio, Bluetooth, and it's yours today for zero money down and $175 a month. That's right. 
no money down, drive away today, just $175 a month. Or feel the power of this 2016 Dodge Challenger. This includes the RT Scat Pack, includes navigation, satellite radio, a reverse camera, an Alpine stereo system, practically new with just 31,000 miles, powered by a 6.4 liter, 392 Hemi engine. This today on the lot at 33,999. Financing is available with lending for all types. Every deal is a winner at Cano Auto Sales 2 in business since 2002, Harlingen, Texas. We move to the top of the fourth. Pitch from Cortez. There's a little looper is going to drop over to the shortstop. By Hope Mitchell. So Hope Mitchell gets on board with a loop single. And that'll bring up Olivia Gutierrez, the shortstop for the Lady Bulldogs. So the Lady Bulldogs trying to make something happen as they trail this one two to nothing here in the top of the fourth. One and oh. To Olivia Gutierrez. Surprise right here. Let's go. Cortez with the pitch. There it is. And it's fouled away. And the count is one and one to Gutierrez. Olivia Gutierrez, the shortstop for the Lady Bulldogs. Cortez with the pitch. It's a little popped out of play. And it keeps the count at one and two. One ball, two strikes to Olivia Gutierrez, the shortstop for the Lady Bulldogs. Cortez with the pitch and gets away and he's got to say it hit her so that'll move her to first base so so Gutierrez manages to move to first base on the hit by pitch and that'll move the runners to first and second Mitchell reached on a single she moves to second and of course, Gutierrez now at first, and that'll bring up the batter, Mallory Salinas. Salinas playing first base for the Lady Bulldogs. Awaits the pitch from Cortez. And it's high. Infield was moving as the runners were looking to make something happen. Lady Bulldogs trail this one. Two to nothing. We're in the top of the fourth. Base runners at first and second for the Lady Bulldogs. Mallory Salinas at the plate awaits the pitch from Cortez, and it is inside, and the count goes 2-0. and oh. Two balls, no strikes to Mallory Salinas. And the coach from Orange Grove, Kevin Lewis, is preaching patience. Let's go. The pitch from Cortez is a change. It's a little low, and the count goes 3-0. and 3-0 to Selena, so we have a little strategy going on here. Will the coach give her the green light, or will he put up the stop sign with 3-0 and with runners at first and second and nobody out? Cortez with the pitch. Strike. 
Cut the corner and the count goes 31. Three balls, one strike to Mallory Salinas. Runners at first and second. Mitchell reached on the single. Gutierrez on the hit by pitch. And that'll load them up for the Lady Bulldogs as Mallory Salinas draws the walk. And that's going to call a timeout for the Lady Cats. We'll be back with more on Real Sports Live. If you just graduated high school, are looking to change careers, or to upgrade your job skills, Texas Southmost College is the place to start. With over 50 certificates and associate degrees to choose from, TSC has the career for you. At TSC, you get a quality education that's close to home. Earn a certificate or an associate degree and get the education you need for today and tomorrow's job market. Wouldn't you like to be in demand? Register now at Texas Southmost College in Brownsville. After the meeting, the Lady Bulldogs have loaded the bases for Cora Olivares, the catcher. Olivares, where's the number seven? Bases are juiced, nobody out. Top of the fourth. And a pitch from Cortez is a swing. Miss. So quickly, Cortez. Gets the strike. Cora Olivares. Paul is high. Right. And the runner right. almost got right. sent, but it was held up. Get there, get there. Lady Bulldogs have runners at first, second, and third. Nobody out. Cortez with the pitch. And it's a strike call. So the count goes one ball, two strikes as Cortez tries to pitch herself out of a jam here. Top of the fourth, Lady Bobcats lead this one two to zero. Cortez's pitch is high, and it's gonna even up the count at two and two. Two balls, two strikes. Takora Olivares. Two balls, two strikes, the pitch from Cortez. Fouled out of play. Good job, kid. No doubt Cortez trying to mix her pitches up. Hey, stay in there. Take the zone. Let's go. Trying to keep the hitter off balance. Here we go, girls. Be ready. Be ready. Oliveras. And Cortez battling. The pitch from Cortez. Swing and a miss. And there's one out. So Cora Oliveras goes down on strikes. And that'll bring up Sky Vaughn. Playing second base for the Lady Bulldogs. There's a big out for Cortez. Sky Vaughn at the plate, waiting the pitch from Cortez. Gets a shot, and it's going to drop, and they're going to get one run in. And that's all they're going to get, but they do get one. So that'll bring up the designated player, Rihanna Beach. Where's number 22 for the Lady Bulldogs? Base is still juice as the Lady Bulldogs did get one in. And a pitch there's a cold strike. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And Coach Lewis from the Lady Bulldogs wants to talk to the Blue. One. 
So Rihanna Beach at the plate at 0-1. Hey, stay in there. As the Lady Bulldogs have managed to put one across the plate to make it a one-run ball game. Bases juiced, first, second, and third. Rihanna Beach at the plate. And foul ball goes 0-2. Don't, Don't No balls, two strikes to Rihanna Beach. Beast is listed as the designated player in softball. Pitch from Cortez is low. And the count goes one and two. One ball, two strikes to Rihanna Beach. Make sure we work it. Let's go. Here we go. Work. Hope Mitchell scored. Be smart. Olivia Gutierrez is at second. Mallory is at third. And the pitch to Beach. Ball gets away. And they're going to score. So now we've got a tie ball game. Tie ball game, two ball, two and two. Cortez. We don't know whether it's going to be scored as a wild pitch or a pass ball. But the Orange Grove Lady Bulldogs knotted up. We're tied at two. Lady Bulldogs, one out with runners at second and third. And we got timeout. Rihanna Beach in a battle with Erica Cortez, the pitcher for the Lady Cats. And the pitch from Cortez is in and a strike. Punch out as Beach is called out on strikes. And the backwards K goes into the book for Beach as she's caught looking. So that'll bring up Cat Lotter, the pitcher. Two outs, runners at second and third for the Lady Bulldogs. They've managed to tie this one up. The pitch from Cortez is a sharp foul down the first base. Stay high, two four. Stay moving. Count goes on one. Up until now, Erica Cortez had been grooving, but the Bulldogs have put in a little rally this inning and have nodded the score. And are trying to do more. Hey, good job. That's two right there. And now the count goes 0-2 to Cat Lotta, the pitcher for the Lady Bulldogs of Orange Grove. Hey, you know, location, Cat. Got it, Mom. Let's go. Hey, all together, bring it around. Lock in. Get it, Erica. Yeah! Swing and a miss. And Lotta goes down on strikes. But the Bulldogs get two. So as we go to the bottom of the fourth, our score is knotted at two. We'll be back with more in just a moment. You're listening and watching Real Sports Live. You're up right. Alpha Men's Primary Care wants to remind all men it's time for your annual physical. Call to schedule an appointment. It's about the body, mind, and emotion. Stop feeling sluggish, having no energy, or being stressed. Alpha Men's Healthcare believes in a holistic approach to your overall health. Even if you have low testosterone, diabetes, high blood pressure, or gained weight, let Alpha Men's Primary Care help you increase your energy, stamina, endurance, and quality of life. Start feeling young again. Alpha Men's Primary Care is changing the way men's health care is done. Up the savings at Mi Casa Furniture. Score big at Mi Casa Furniture. 7533 Boca Chica Boulevard, Brownsville. Fishing fans, here's your chance to catch some fish and help out athletes at the same time. Mark the calendar now and plan on attending October 20th as the three up, three down San Perlita Booster Club Fishing Tournament looks to be the biggest and best yet. 
Located at Laguna Madre Bates in Port Mansfield, Texas, this tournament is set to provide 100% of the proceeds directly to the athletic programs. Artificial lures only with a blackjack format, no fish over 21 inches, $150 per team or boat, maximum four people in the grand champion is a team closest to 63 inches with one red trout and one flounder. Food raffles, baked goods, a silent auction, and terrific prizes from some great sponsors. Registration is October 19th. The tournament is October 20th. See you there at the Three Up, Three Down Fishing Tournament in Port Mansfield, where catching fish is helping. We move to the bottom of the fourth. We're all knotted up at two. Kayla Castaneda steps in for the Rio Hundo Lady Bobcats to face Cat Lotta. And the first pitch is outside. One ball to Kayla Castaneda. Cat Lotta's next pitch is going to be a shot and it's going to drop in for a single and gets by the right fielder. So Kayla Castaneda is on board with a single. Leanna Salazar having a little rough time picking that one up. So Kayla Castaneda does her job and that's gonna bring in the courtesy runner. Got a little break in the action here. Want to let you know, I want to give a couple shout outs to Mr. Uh, Juan Esparza and his wife, Lisa, at the concession stand over in Santa Rosa. They said they would be listening. I told them I'd give them a shout out tonight. And I want to give a big shout out to Mr. Rocky James, the athletic director over here at Rio Hondo. Made this feel very comfortable over here. And uh, great night for some softball. Playoff action here, Lady Bobcats of Rio Hondo playing host to the Lady Bulldogs of Orange Grove in a 33 versus 31 by district playoff matchup. Swing, they call the slash. And that's Dominic De Jesus, who bats from the left side. Bobcats with a runner at first. And ball's low. One ball, one strike. Count goes one and one. One ball, one strike to De Jesus. Another one of those slash swings that they do in softball, so common. Moves the count to one and two. One ball, two strikes to De Jesus. Pop up, and we'll see what happens here. Nobody calls it. Fair ball. I had a little mistake there, and Coach Lewis is going to argue that it was in foul territory, but he's going to want to appeal it to the base umpire, and we'll have a little, little conference to see what's going on here. And they're going to dispute on whether the ball was in foul or fair territory. As the Blues will get together. And I would imagine that is probably going to hold up that she was, she picked the ball up in fair territory, but we'll wait for the blue. They're going to say it's safe. And that'll keep it the way we thought it was. So the Lady Cats will have runners at first and second. And that'll bring up the batter, number 11, Kelsey Pizarro. Kelsey playing shortstop tonight for the Lady Cats. Two to two, our score. No outs. Lady Cats with runners at first and second. And we got a little timeout here with the blue talking to the Rio Hondo 
coach. And we're going to have another little meeting, see what's going on here. we got another appeal going on. While we're doing that, we'll take a quick commercial break, and we'll be back with more in just a moment. In a big, big way. you have time to worry, we'll get you taken care of faster. Now you can get back to your day with a healthy smile. How to back here at live action as they seem to have had the situation sorted out. Kelsey Seguero, or excuse me, uh, Kelsey Pizarro is at the plate for the Lady Bobcats, wearing the number 11. She bats in from the right side. Lady Bobcats with runners at first and second. Pizarro, which for the pitch from Catlotta, and it's high and outside. Almost got away from her. Pizarro steps back in, waits from the pitch from Lana, and it's a called strike. So the count goes 0-2 to Kelsey Pizarro. Pizarro is going to swing and a miss, and that's one down for the Lady Cats. And that's going to bring up Alyssa Salguero. Playing first base for the Lady Cats. Called strike on Salguero. Cat Lada settled down somewhat. And it's got her Lady Cats, or excuse me, Lady Bulldogs back on the right track as this game is knotted at two. Lady Cats with runners at first and second and one out. Shot is up in the air. First baseman's calling for it and has it. So, so Garib flies out. And that'll bring up the catcher. Abigail Torres. Torres, who bats from the left side. Two down. Runners at first and second for the Lady Cats. That's going to be a quickie, and it's going to be gone. So a quick sh toss over from the shortstop to second gets the easy fielder's choice. And the Cats can't move anybody across. After four, we're knotted at two. We'll be back with more right here on Real Sports Live. You're home for all of Real Sports action in the Valley. App to your Roku device. All your favorite shows from VTX1 Channel 1 and exciting games broadcast on Rio Sports Live can be added onto your Roku device by following these simple steps. Step 1. Scroll down to search and push OK on the remote control. Step 2. Type in VTX1 by using the arrow keys to move the cursor around the keyboard and pushing OK to enter the letters. When you're done, choose the VTX1 option on the right-hand side of the screen. Then push OK. Step 3. Choose the Add Channel option on the right-hand side of the screen and wait for the application to load. Congratulations! You have now successfully added the VTX1 app to your channel lineup. It can be found on the main screen under Home at the bottom of the list.
For more information, visit the VTX1 website at vtx1.net slash OTT. At Port Isabel Health Clinic, they care for you like family. Services include pediatrics, geriatric care, and family practice, school sports physicals, daycare physicals, orthopedic care, wellness exams for men and women. Dr. William Torkelson and his staff are here to serve you. Office hours are Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. through 5 p.m. Your health is their priority at the Port Isabel Health Clinic. When in Port Mansfield, be sure to stop in Laguna Madre Baits, the home of Laguna Girl 1 and 2. They ensure that you have the best when it comes to your fishing needs. Locally caught bait, including live shrimp and croaker. Frozen baits caught locally, frozen shrimp, squid, mullet, and more. Dress the part with full outdoor apparel. Drinks, ice, snacks, groceries, and fishing supplies for any need. Access by road or by boat. Look for the blue building and the blue shrimp boats. Laguna Madre Bates, 828 Westport Drive, Port Mansfield, Texas. As we move to the top of the fifth inning, we want to remind our fans and listeners of Real Sports Live that we will not be able to bring you tomorrow night's game between Orange Grove and Real Hondo due to circumstances beyond our control and internet issues. So we want to apologize to you for that, but in the future we will do everything we can to get you those games, but tomorrow night's cannot be broadcast. Top of the fifth, the pitcher, Cortez, first pitch is a strike to Becca Mims as they go to the top of the batting order. And a count 0 and 1 to Mims. Cortez quickly gets ahead of Mims and goes 0-2 on the foul tip. Also want to give a shout out to a couple of friends of mine. I want to say hi to Mr. Javier Guillen and some other friends of mine that are maybe watching this game over in Rio Hondo. We call him Keeter. He lives in Rio Hondo. One of the finest at Santa Rosa School District and Mims goes down on strikes. Officer Huerta, but we know him as Keeter. Lives in the big city of Rio Hondo. I'm sure he's watching, or he might even be here tonight. Brings up Raquel Strahan. And the pitch from Cortez is fouled out of play. Cortez has got a wicked pitch. And a wicked change. And she's got one dandy of a fastball. Cortez on the mound with the pitch. Check swing goes foul. And she quickly gets ahead of Strahan. So Tra Strahan facing an 0-2 count here in the top of the fifth where we're knotted at two. Bobcats scored two in the bottom of the first. And the Lady Bulldogs scored two in the top of the fourth. And that's where we're sitting at right now, nodded at two. Strahan fouls out of play, keeps the count at 0-2. Cortez looking for signals. Shot to left field, and it's a base hit. Are you all right, you so Strahan on an 0-2 count hits a shot and gets a single out of it. Brings up number nine, Hope Mitchell. 42. So the Bulldogs have a runner on with one out. And that brings up Hope Mitchell, who fouls it out of play. 0-1 to Mitchell. Cortez, the big ace for the Lady Bobcats. 
has pitched a masterful game thus far. Our score two to two, Lady Bulldogs with a runner at first. Shows bunt. And it goes five. So Mitchell goes 0-1 with the bunt foul. Two strikes to batter Mitchell. The pitch from Cortez. Fouls again over here to this side of the field. And keeps the count at 2 to Hope Mitchell. Cortez looks for her signal. Hey, follow the snap here, kid. Push through. Cortez with the delivery and the pitch. Fouls out of play. And it keeps the count at 2 on Mitchell. Bulldogs with a runner at first. As they bat here in the top of the fifth. Pitch gets away from Cortez and slips off her fingers and goes for the ball. One ball, two strikes to Mitchell. As that one kind of slipped off of Cortez's hand. Be smart, two four, you already know. One ball, two strikes. You know you gotta be careful. Good crowd here tonight to see the Lady Bobcats and Lady Bulldogs. Up. And that is gonna go out of play. Keeping the count at one and two. Good sized crowd here tonight. Top of the fifth inning, 2-2 two -two our score. Lady Bulldogs with one out and a runner at first. Hope Mitchell the batter. Looking at a count at one and two. And the fielder's choice goes to second base and base gets loose. So the fielder's choice will take care of Strahan. So that'll bring up Olivia Gutierrez for the Lady Bulldogs as they work on the base at second. Make sure it's anchored correctly. And there are two outs now for the Lady Bulldogs. The fielder's choice allows the runner at first. And Gutierrez playing shortstop tonight for the Lady Bulldogs. Wearing the number 11. Cortez on the mound with the pitch. Swing and a foul tip. And the count goes quickly 0-1. Little bit of airplane noise you hear overhead there. And a shot there. It's gonna send the ball out. Gets it into second. And is in with a triple. And the Lady Bulldogs score to take the lead three to the who? Here we go, here we go. I got two outs, get the out. So the shot by Olivia Gutierrez on the triple. Allows Mitchell to score. And now the Lady Bulldogs lead this one three to two. 
Brings up Mallory Salinas. And strike for the right-hander. Salinas plays first base for the Lady Bulldogs. Bats from the right side, swing, and is now quickly behind the count, 0-2. Two. two outs for the Lady Bulldogs. They have a runner at third, as Gutierrez gets the triple. Working, working, here we go. Salinas. Pitch gets away, and scores. So now the Lady Bulldogs take control on the wild pitch by Cortez, and a count at 0-2. So on the wild pitch, the Lady Bulldogs take advantage of the miscue and now lead this one. Four to two. Hey, here you go, man. 44. Cortez facing Salinas. Two outs, two strikes. Oh. Hey, good pitch, good pitch. And the fans are hoping that one was going to be the third one, but the blue says ball one. The pitch from Cortez. Swing and a miss. Strike three. We'll be back with more on Real Sports Live, your home for all of sports action in the Valley. Our professional advisors at Employed Retirement Service have been providing financial retirement planning for many years for employees of different employment. If you've spent your career in education and are ready for the next chapter, let the professionals at Employment Retirement Services help. You've worked hard, and now it's time to relax and enjoy with peace of mind and security. Help fulfill your retirement needs. Come experience the difference with us. And let's plan your retirement together. Call us at 956-440-8774 to schedule your appointment today. Needing a treat before or after the big game? Then, when in Harlingen, stop in at the Scoop Ice Cream Parlor and Deli and treat yourself to some amazing things. Ice creams, shakes, sundaes, banana splits, and that's just a sample. If you can dream it, they can make it at the Scoop in Harlingen. From the deli comes a variety of sandwiches that is sure to bring you back for more. Hamburgers and hot dogs served every day. Open Tuesday through Saturday, 11 to 7, Sundays from 12 to 6, on F Street in Harlingen, it's the Scoop Ice Cream Parlor in Delhi. Chewy's Custom Sports in San Benito is right there for you when it comes to supporting your team's schools. As Emma Cerna comes to the plate for the Lady Bobcats, as the Bulldogs, the Lady Bulldogs of Orange Grove have jumped out to a two-run lead. Over the Lady Cats. Want to say, give a big shout out to a former coach colleague of mine, Amos Salas. His daughter played a little softball. He knows the game. So I want to give a big shout out to Amos Coach Salas. Cerna trying to get something going for the Lady Cats. She's at a one-two count. And fouls it back. One and two to Cerna. Here in the bottom of the fifth. Lady Cats had led this one till the fourth. When the Lady Bulldogs tied it up. And on the bunt, it's gotta be safe. It's got a hitter. So the bunt by Cerna is good. And the real Bobcats, Lady Bobcats, have a runner at first. So they're gonna check her out and make sure as the throw caught her upside the head. Wanna make sure she's okay, make sure the helmet's okay. Wanna make sure the player's okay. 
Blues are going to check her out, and they also want to check the other player out as well to make sure that she's okay. And Coach Lewis is going to argue that she was in the wrong part and ordered an interference, but he's not going to get it. So... So after we get that all sorted out, Yale Valise goes back to Ellie Garcia. As they go back to the top of the order for the Lady Bobcats. 0-1, one, one, shows Bunt. Bunt is down. Ball gets away. And we're going to have a little discussion on this one. We're going to have a little discussion here. And we're going to keep it here as we've got a little discussion on the bunt. The ball appeared to lay in fair territory. But we'll see how the Blues call this one. 4-2 our score. We're in the bottom of the fifth in a bi-district playoff matchup. Three Blues, one coach. We'll see how this discussion goes. Lots of discussion and chatter going out on the ball field. So they're going to say that. So they're going to say the batter is out, but the runner will return to first. And we'll see how the. Uh, Uh, we're not for sure what happened here, but we'll wait to see if we can get a ruling on what happened. Still lots of discussion going on in this one, on that play. So it appears that the batter is out. Now they have, they have not put it on the scoreboard yet, but the runner has returned to first. Be simple. Don't leave it up to these blues. Let's take the game. Take the game. Don't leave it to them. Don't leave it to them. Don't leave it to them. Let's go. So Savannah Gonzalez steps up to the plate. And she's going to get a loop single in the Goes into first, the ball gets away, and the runner gets to third. So Savannah Gonzalez with the loop single allows it to happen. So Gonzalez will get her base hit, and that'll move the runner to third. 
And the Orange Grove's gonna call a timeout. So while they're calling a timeout, we'll take a commercial break and be back with more right here on Real Sports Live. Veteran-owned business dedicated to helping out regardless of the team or season. Let Chewy's Design, your hats or shirts with state-of-the-art embroidery. Let Chewy's Design and print your shirts for the next big game. How about custom engraved top-of-the-line mugs, buttons, banners? Call Chewy's Custom Sports today. What's up, everybody? I'm Xavier. This is Sarge, and we're the owners of King Cuts Barbershop, and this is the King Cuts crew. Welcome to King Cuts! We specialize in all kinds of men's cuts and hair designs. Keep yourself groomed. We'll take care of the rest. King Cuts, where fresh cuts are served daily. Back to live action here as we get everything sorted out. A little bit of a coach's talk with the pitcher, and Cat Lotta stays in the ball game. Let's go, two and the pitcher, Cortez, comes to the plate. And she pops one out of, out of play. So the count, 0-1 and 1 out for the Lady Bobcats. Runners at the corners for the Lady Bobcats. 4-2 our score. We've got a timeout here with the blue. And we've got another conference. A little comp was going on there. I think a lot of it had to do with uh, the delivery on whether or not she balked. But appears that everything is back on the right track here, and Cortez steps in back with an 0 1 count. Runners at the corners for the Lady Bobcats. They trail by two, our score four to two. Cat Lotta on the mound for the Lady Bulldogs. Erica Cortez at the plate. The pitch. There's a shot, and it's going to be for a base hit. Cortez is going to first. Runners at third, and the ball gets away, and the ball gets on to second. So Cortez moves on to second. And the Lady Bobcats pick up a run. And now it's a 4-3 ball game. So Erica Cortez, not only doing a great job on the mound, does a good job there delivering the base hit. RBI single. And goes to second on the miscue. So now the Lady Cats have runners at second and third. And a one out. It looks like a couple of defensive changes are being made, so they're going to check, take a look here. And that's bring on a castanet it to the plate. Kayla Castaneda at the plate for the Lady Bobcats. Four to three, our score. Yeah. Want to give another big shout out to a couple of coach friends. Come on, Valerie. Want to say to Art Garcia, the former athletic director of Santa Rosa, who's now up in Cotton Picker. Territory up in Robstown, and Pablo De Los Santos, and one of our buddies who's a good friend of ours, Steve Mendoza, the former baseball coach for the Santa Rosa Warriors, and of course a big shout out to Tony Leal, the head coach of the Santa Rosa Warriors, and I want to say a few shout outs to, of course, the man that you hear a lot of times on Real Sports Live, Mr. Joe Bowling, who asked me if I could help out tonight, and I said, of course. Glad to do it to bring you this playoff action. And it appears we've got a, a little bit of a, a little bit of a confusion with some lineups. We're gonna make sure that everybody did not bat out of order. So they're checking the scorebooks, making sure that the lineup cards are correct. And it appears to be A okay. Well, 
still discussing it as the coaches and his assistant coaches along with the Blues with the scorebook are there. We're going to make sure that everything goes nice and smooth. Four to three, our score. We're going to take a quick, quick commercial break. Be back with more on Real Sports Live. A piece of cake by Ibarras and Harlingen is a sweet stop for cakes, cookies, and in time for specialty cakes made to order. Sweet bread, cookies, pies, or how about cupcakes? At a piece of cake by Ibarras, try a Texas size cinnamon roll, or how about some tamales? Wedding cakes, graduations, you dream it and they can make it. The best in town is a piece of cake by Ibarras in Harlingen. Well, after everything got all sorted out, now the Lady Bobcats have runners at first, second, and third. And we're still having a conversation. And now we're going to bring in the batter. Dominic De Jesus steps in to bat after all that confusion. So the Lady. Bobcats trail by one. They have runners at first, second, and third. Hey, Bases are Watch juiced, the right here. The and they have the one out. The they trail by one here in the bottom of the fifth. On, and the count goes one and one. One ball, one strike to Dominic De Jesus. How do y'all miss that one? De Jesus pops it up. First baseman calls for it. And makes the out. All right, ones, hit hard on the ground. Keep it hard on the ground. She caught the ball in foul territory, but had she caught the ball in fair territory, it would have been the infield fly. Because the runners are on first, second, or first, second, and third in less than two outs. So the batter's automatically out on the infield fly rule. So with that being said, we'll bring up the batter, Kelsey Pizarro. Pizarro. Steps into the right side. Bases juice, two outs. One run ball game. The pitch from Lotta. Fouled out of play. Cat Lotta on the mound for the Lady Bulldogs. Let's go, make the call. Fans getting a little anxious behind me and around me. All game last week, you're horrible. You're doing it again. And the count goes one and two. You can't make the call, you shouldn't be there. Kelsey Pizarro 
Show's on two, but the blue was showing one and two. So the count is, and a swing and a miss. And that'll retire the side. But the Lady Bobcats do pick up one. We go to the top of the six. Your score, the Bulldogs, the Lady Bulldogs of Orange Grove, four. And the Lady Bobcats, three. We'll be back with more after these commercial messages. You're watching and listening to Real Sports Live, the home of Real Sports coverage in the Rio Grande Valley. TVNS specializes in provider services, respite care, and emergency response services. TVNS are pioneers in the home care industry, in service for over 37 years. 11 locations from Brownsville to Corpus Christi, from Harlingen to Laredo. Today's game is sponsored by TVNS, the pioneers in serving our community with the highest quality in provider services. Our professional advisors at Employee Retirement Services have been providing financial and retirement planning for many years for employees of different employment. If you've spent your career in education and are ready for the next chapter, let the professionals at Employment Retirement Services help. You've worked hard, and now it's time to relax and enjoy with peace of mind and security. Help fulfill your retirement needs. Come experience the difference with us. And let's plan your retirement together. Call us at 956-440-8774 to schedule your appointment today. Don't pass up the savings at me, Casa Furniture. Score big at me, Casa Furniture. 7533 Boca Chica Boulevard, Brownsville. Back here at Rio Hondo, and it's playoff action and softball action, high school. The Rio Hondo Lady Bobcats pick up a run in the bottom of the fifth, and we move to the top of the sixth. Got a little explanation from the blue. There was a re-entry issue as the player was listed as a defensive player and re-entered and when it happened, it didn't go through the right channels and that caused a little bit of a mix up. So with that being said, it's 4-3, the Lady Bulldogs as we move into the top of the sixth inning. And it's Cat Lotta. Oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. That's gonna be Cora Olivares leading off the top of the sixth. 1-0 to Olivares, pitch from Cortez. Pitch is a called strike. Moves the count to one and one. One ball, one strike to Cora Olivares. Olivares playing the catcher tonight for the Lady Bulldogs and fouls that one out of play. Keeps the count one ball, two strikes. Top of the sixth in 33 versus 31 by district playoff, best of three series. Once again, we will not be able to bring you the broadcast tomorrow night due to circumstances beyond our control. Pitch from Cortez. Evens up the count at 2 2. A lot of the fans thought that one should be a strike, but I think they always think it should be a strike. And that one goes out of play as well. And that keeps count at two and two. I want to remind you that you could catch a lot of our action on Real Sports Live on YouTube by going into Real Sports Live and look at some of the broadcasts that you could like to watch or were not able to see. So you can pick it out there and take a look at it. Real Sports Live on YouTube. Olivares. Pitch gets away. And that's going to make the count three and two. Three balls, two strikes to the batter, Cora Olivares. Cortez with the signal. The pitch. It's a ground ball to the second baseman and picks and throws and gets her. 
So Nayeli Garcia flips it over to Alyssa Soguero to get the out. And Oliveras grounds out. That'll bring up Sky Vaughn, the second baseman. Where's the number two? And there's one out. I want to give a shout out to a young lady that's very special to me named Jessica Cruz. I hope she's doing well. That one goes out of play. One ball, one strike. To Sky Vaughn. Erica Cortez on the mound for the Rio Hondo Lady Bobcats. The pitch. Little short grounder goes to the third, throws, and it's scooped out by the first baseman. Great play by the first baseman, Alyssa Selguero, who picked up Kayla Castaneda's throw from third. He's his in the dirt to get the out. So there are two outs here in the top of the sixth for the Lady Bulldogs. Lady Bulldogs lead this one four to three. We'll recap the score. The Lady Bobcats scored two in the bottom of the first. The Lady Bulldogs scored two in, in the top of the fourth and then two in the top of the fifth. And then the Lady Cats came back with one in the bottom of the fifth. And that's where we sit with our score at four to three. Pitch from Cortez is in for a strike. As the designated player or the defensive player, Rihanna Beach comes to the plate. Counts one and one. One ball, one strike to Beach. We're in the number 22. Listed as a designated player. Short grounder back to the pitcher, flips it over to the first. And just like that, it's one, two, three for the Lady Bobcats. So at the end of five and a half, we move to the bottom of the sixth. The Lady Bulldogs lead this one by one. The Lady Bobcats coming to bat in the bottom of the sixth. We'll be back with more right here on Real Sports Live. Man, start the new year. Right. Alpha Men's Primary Care wants to remind all men it's time for your annual physical. Call to schedule an appointment. It's about the body, mind, and emotion. Stop feeling sluggish, having no energy, or being stressed. Alpha Men's Healthcare believes in a holistic approach to your overall health. Even if you have low testosterone, diabetes, high blood pressure, or gained weight, let Alpha Men's Primary Care help you increase your energy, stamina, endurance, and quality of life. Start feeling young again. Alpha Men's Primary Care is changing the way men's health care is done. If you just graduated high school, are looking to change careers, or to upgrade your job skills, Texas Southmost College is the place to start. With over 50 certificates and associate degrees to choose from, TSC has the career for you. At TSC, you get a quality education that's close to home. Earn a certificate or an associate degree and get the education you need for today and tomorrow's job market. Wouldn't you like to be in demand? Register now at Texas Southmost College in Brownsville. Back here at Rio Hondo in a by district playoff softball game. The first of a best of three. Four to three, our score. The Lady Bulldogs of Orange Grove on top. As the Lady Bobcats are trying to answer back here in the bottom of the sixth. Once again, a reminder, we cannot bring you the game tomorrow night due to circumstances beyond our control because of no internet service. So we apologize for that, but we will have the third game for you. So right now we want to remind you of that. Make sure that you adjust your schedule on that for Real Sports Live and all the other games that take place right here. Four to three, our score. We're in the bottom of the six. The pitch. 
Popped up and out of play. And straight to it, Will Fox. As Alexis Reiner has come into the ball game, she bats. Counts one and one to Reiner. One ball, one strike. Reiner, the ball gets by. Count goes two and one. Two balls and a strike to Alexis Reiner. Abigail Torres on deck. Two balls, one strike to Alexis. There's a shot to the first base. And that's going to be an easy single. And Alexis Reiner gets a good at bat. And she's on first base with a single. And that'll bring up the left-handed batter. Abigail Torres with no outs here in the bottom of the sixth. Interesting to see what the real Honda coaches will be thinking here as they are down one run and coach from Real Honda is going to ask for a timeout. And we resume the action back here. Catlotta on the mound for the Lady Bulldogs. We're in the bottom of the sixth. Runner at first for the Lady Bobcats. Abigail Torres at the plate. The pitch, low, ball one for Torres. As the first pitch was counted as a no pitch, so the count goes one and oh. Abigail Torres, the catcher for the Lady Bobcats, steps in from the left side. Now we got a timeout again. A little bit of uh, chatter going on. Things settle back down. Torres counts one and one. Waits from the pitch from Lada. The pitch high and inside, and the count goes two and one. Two balls, one strike to Abigail Torres. Batting from the left side. And foul ball, count goes two and two. Two balls, two strikes. Yes, 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 yes. And it looks like they may have called catcher interference. And they got a, or a balk. Thank you. They got us. Discussion here with the Orange Grove coach and the base umpire. Three balls, one strike to Abigail Torres. A little confusion there. We thought there was a ball call, but it appears no is a no pitch. Base hit by Abigail Torres, and that'll move the runners to second. So now the Lady Bobcats have runners at first and second and no outs. And that's going to bring up Emma Cerna. Watch her, watch her, watch her. 
The left fielder for the Lady Bobcats steps into the right side. Tying run at second, the go-ahead run at first. And Maserna at the plate, the pitch. Tries to bunt and can't. So the failed bunt attempt goes 0-1 to Emma Cerna. Bottom of the sixth inning, playoff action. Four to three, our score. Lady Bobcats tying run. And foul. So it's gonna be two strikes on Cerna. As of course, in this situation, you're trying to move the runners. Real Honda with the tying run at second and the go-ahead run at first. A lot of strategies here. Softball especially because of the way they can slash bunt. The way they will look here is to see how swings away and she does. So a swing and a miss and Cerna goes down on strikes. So that'll bring up Nayeli Garcia at the top of the order. Second baseman for the Lady Cats. Watch her, watch her, watch her. As the Cats have an out. Runners at first and second for the Lady Bobcats. Tying run at second, go ahead run at first. No doubt here, Rio Hondo wants to move the base runners. But playing conservative by not bunting here with a strong batter in their leadoff batter. Ball is low and the count goes 2-0. and 2-0 the count, one out. Nayela Garcia waits for the pitch from Lada. And it's a called strike. Two balls, one strike. To Nayeli Garcia. Pitch from Lotta. Ball four. And now the bases are loaded for the Lady Bobcats. And that'll bring up Savannah Gonzalez. Savannah Gonzalez at the plate with the bases juiced. One out, everybody's up. Not unusual there as we see the infielders from the Lady Bulldogs pushing in quickly because they know the suicide squeeze could happen here. Ball is up and high, count goes one and one. One ball, one strike. To Nayeli Garcia. Or I'm sorry, Savannah Gonzalez. Base hit, gonna be through. That'll score one. The Bobcats score two and take the lead. And just like that, Savannah Guthrie comes through and the Lady Bobcats take the lead five to four. Savannah Guthrie with the two run RBI. And the fans are getting enthusiastic in Rio Hondo. And if you can guess who's coming up to bat, that's right, it's number 24, the pitcher for the Lady Bobcats and a strong hitter, Erica Cortez. Lady Cats with runners at first and second. Erica Cortez at the plate, fouls it out of play. One strike on Erica Cortez. Timeout by the Lady Bobcats. 
Coach wants to talk to his runners and his batters to set up his offense. You can imagine what they're thinking here. They've got a one-run lead. One out, runners at first and second. Strategy, no doubt, taking place in this game as to what's going to happen right now. Lady Cats can probably still move the ball and play small ball as they have a runner at second in scoring position. One strike. One out to Erica Cortez. No doubt we'll see what happens here. A strong hitter for the real Lady Cats, and she reaches underneath that one and quickly is behind 0-2. Ball was low, but Cortez swung and popped it out of play. Two strikes on Erica Cortez. One out. Lady Bobcats lead it 5-4. to four. There's a shot, and it's caught. So they tried to double them up, but no luck. Erica Cortez sent a long shot out to left field, but the left fielder Raquel Strahan was able to pick that one. Nice catch by the left fielder. Got the ball in quick to stop the base runners from moving. And now the Lady Bobcats have two outs. Base hit by Kayla Castaneda. Oh, and it's going to fall. Thought we had a base hit, but it, she came in and made the play. So that'll retire the side, but not before. The Lady Bobcats take the lead. They lead this one as we move to the top of the seventh. The Lady Bobcats five. The Lady Bulldogs four. We'll be back with more after these commercial breaks. You're watching and listening to Real Sports Live. The home for Valley Sports Coverage. Health Clinic, they care for you like family. Services include pediatrics, geriatric care, and family practice, school sports physicals, daycare physicals, orthopedic care, wellness exams for men and women. Dr. William Torkelson and his staff are here to serve you. Office hours are Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. through 5 p.m. Your health is their priority at the Port Isabel Health Clinic. Well, we are back for the final frame. Five to four, our score, the Lady Bobcats picking up two runs. To go ahead in this one, in the bottom of the sixth, as the Lady Bulldogs are down to their last three outs. Cat Lauda, the pitcher. Yeah. Stay there, kid. Oh, hey, 
takes the first swing. Let's go. And she's 0 and 1. Cortez looks for the signal. The pitch. Popped up to the second baseman, and she'll squeeze it, and there's one down. The Rio Hondo Lady Bobcats are two outs away from moving on to the next round as they lead this one five to four. And the Lady Bulldogs are down to their last two outs. Top of the lineup for the Lady Bulldogs as Becca Mims steps into the plate. She bats from the right side. Cortez. Called strike. Hey, stay working, Lucky. Cortez has gone the distance. All right, bring it around. Good push. Bring it around. So she can see it. Snap. There it is. Yeah. Yeah. Right two. Let's go touch the ball. You can hear that ball pop on the 0 2 now to Mims. Keep working. Keep working. Erica Cortez. Done a massive job for the Lady Bobcats. The pitch. Yeah. It's popped up to the first baseman, but the second baseman calls her yeah. off, and there are two outs. Two, two. Nayeli Garcia, the second baseman, squeezed it. And now the Lady Bulldogs are down to their last out. And that's going to bring in Raquel Strahan, who got a single. in the fifth to open up a rally for the ladies. Bulldogs. So ladies, Bobcats. Pitch is a cold strike. Erica Cortez. Challenging Strahan. And she's ahead of her 0-1. 5-4 our score. And a pitch, strike two, and you heard the glove pop there. The count 0-2, oh two, two outs. The Lady Bulldogs are down to a strike and down to their last out. All hope pinned on Raquel Strahan. She was here on the fifth, can she do it again? No. She pumps it out to the pitcher, Erica Cortez. And the Lady Bobcats come back to win this one. Five to four, your final. They'll travel to Orange Grove tomorrow. The Lady Bobcats and the Orange Grove Lady Bulldogs. Game one of this three game series goes to the Lady Bobcats. Your final, five to four. We'll be back to wrap it up in just a few minutes. You're watching and listening to Rio Sports Live, the home for sports in the Rio Grande Valley. We'll be back in just a moment. And for the Bobcat fans, we'll see you tomorrow in Orange Grove. Tomorrow in Orange Grove. For the hottest deals, go to Mi Casa Furniture. See, see. Casa Furniture, 7533 Boca Chica, Brownsville. Everyone's a winner at Cano Auto Sales 2 in Harlingen. Choose from a wide selection and score big today on West Expressway 83. Right now, check out this 2014 Hyundai Elantra GT. This car is loaded with a leather interior satellite radio, Bluetooth, and it's yours today for zero money down and $175 a month. That's right, no money down. Drive away today, just $175 a month. Or feel the power of this 2016 Dodge Challenger. This includes the RT Scat Pack, includes navigation, satellite radio, a reverse camera, an Alpine stereo system, practically new with just 31,000 miles, powered by a 6.4 liter 392 Hemi engine. This today on the lot at $33,999. Financing is available with lending for all types. Every deal is a winner at Cano Auto Sales 2 in business since 2002. Harlage in Texas. 
back here at Rio Hondo Softball Stadium on the campus of Rio Hondo High School. The Lady Bobcats pull out the victory tonight as they defeat the Lady Bulldogs five to four. The Lady on the mound for the Lady Bobcats had a masterful appearance with over seven strikeouts and doing a great job at the plate as well. Erica Cortez, a lot of help as well from some other players like Savannah Guthrie, or excuse me, Savannah Gonzalez, who managed to get a great RBI. So the Lady Bobcats come up on this one. They pick up the big win in game one of this three game series. They scored two in the bottom of the first. The Lady Bulldogs came back and answered, scoring two in the top of the fourth. The Lady Bulldogs came back and scored two more in the top of the fifth. The Lady Cats came back and scored one and answered, but couldn't get any closer. And then in the sixth, the Lady Bobcats scored two in the bottom of the sixth and held on for the last three outs of the seventh to take this one five to four. Well, we hope you've enjoyed tonight's broadcast. Once again, I want to remind you we're sorry, but we cannot bring you tomorrow night's broadcast as a result of no internet and technical services. We want to big, give a big shout out to, to Rocky James over there. We want to say hi to the athletic director over here. He's doing a masterful job, made everything nice and smooth. Gate of hospitality over here for tonight's contest. And we want to say to hi to a lot of the folks that have been listening and watching. And we hope you've enjoyed tonight's telecast as there will be many more throughout this playoff season for both softball and baseball. So enjoy the night. We want to thank you for watching. And remember to always tune in on Real Sports Live. You can ch catch us on Facebook. Check us out. Real Sports Live, your home and choice for sports coverage here in the Rio Grande Valley. Once again, our final score, the Lady Bobcats of Rio Hondo, six, or excuse me, five. I, got, I wanted to give them an extra run there. The Lady Bobcats, five, and the Lady Bulldogs, four. We'll see you next time right here on Real Sports Live. This is Doug Robinson, and I want to say a big shout out to my good friend Eric, who did a masterful job with the cameras tonight pushing the buttons and helping me make sure that everything went good and smooth. Once again, your final, Real Grand, or the Real Hondo, Lady Bobcats 5, the Lady Bulldogs of Orange Grove 4. We'll see you next time. Good night, everybody. Fans mark the calendar for May the 5th for exciting football action from Mercedes as Real Sports Live presents NFL flag football action in Turf Wars 2019. See the future stars from the area in tournament competition live on Real Sports Live from the Mercedes Tiger Football Stadium May the 5th. Coaches, sign your team up today and be a part of the show for just $75 a team. Sponsored in part by Chewy's Custom Sports in San Benito. Register your team today or call 956 536 7185 Turf Wars NFL flag football from Mercedes 